Next performance. Believe. Achieve. Excel. So I know that you work, you, you will work with both individuals um, and, and clubs. Um, let's just say that I, that I was um, an elite athlete. Um, how, would, how would the process work if, if, for example, I felt as though I wasn't happy with, with my performance and needed to see somebody like you? How, how would the process start and then evolve? I guess it would be really important that the sports nutritionist initially understood the demands of the sport. Um, so every sport has different physical demands, um, demands on them in terms of the lifestyle. If there's a lot of international travel, if um, potentially for that athlete, they've got full time education or they have to do some sort of other they have other responsibilities like children so all of that needs to sort of be understood the demands of the sport um both in competition and in training and then their personal circumstances and then ideally really you would like a nutritionist to be part of the support team of the athlete so it, you might sometimes have an athlete who just has a coach they might have their physio their psychologist um several coaches uh sports scientists uh etc so a doctor you know and you need to be part of that that multidisciplinary team there to support them so it wouldn't always necessarily be just um you working directly with the athlete as a nutritionist you will be working with their whole team their setup so how, how would that work um practically speaking jasmine especially at this time during COVID then? Yeah, it can be really hard and it can be hard anyway without COVID. So um, often a lot of nutritionists will work with athletes just in that isolation, just supporting them and giving them nutritional information and guidance and advice on what they believe you know they should be eating. Um, and then in COVID, it is quite difficult. Um, and I think where it has worked for me is uh, because I've already worked as part of these teams of staff members. So we've already established these working relationships. And um, yeah, I think it is definitely hard. And I think people are a little bit exhausted with doing calls and workshops online and stuff like that. So um, we're all a bit tired of it. Um, so yeah, keeping in touch using WhatsApp and you, there are things you can do virtually to still have an impact and help.